Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting news for all of you Samsung users out there. Samsung has released the official One UI 6.0 for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 here in the US. It brings a bunch of new features. We're diving right in, so make sure you stay tuned until the end for all details. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Okay, so I just finished downloading the update. We're gonna go ahead and click on install now. And once it's done, then we'll be back. Okay, first off, let's take a look at the release notes. Samsung One UI 6.0 official release empowers you to do what you want effortlessly. So if we take a look at the release notes, this is the official release. There are no more beta updates. This also brings the November security patch. And this is about 500 meg download. One of the standout features in this update is the new button layout. The quick panel has a new layout that allows you to access the features you use the most. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth have their own dedicated buttons at the top of the screen. Buttons appear in the middle of the screen for easy customizations. And the dark mode and eye comfort have been moved to the bottom of the display. Next up, you can have the instant access to the quick panel by swiping down from the right corner. This is enabled under the edit option when opening quick panel. The next update is the music player. The updated music player now shows album art that covers the whole media player, whether you're listening to music or playing a video. There is also a new waveform animation that is seen while the music is playing. By clicking the upper right of the media player, you can easily collapse or expand it now. Another welcome addition is the ability to reposition the clock on your lock screen. You can now resize and reposition the clock as you like. There are some added fonts as well, and you can change different colors using the color palette at the bottom.
Several changes have been made to the camera app. Quick settings buttons have been added to the preview screen to be simpler and more intuitive. A new camera widget has been added to the home screen allowing you to set the type of shooting mode. This will allow you to set the type of shooting mode so each time you click on the widget it will open as you saved. You can also customize the name and the background of the widget. Updates have been made to the watermark, allowing such adjustments as moving from top to bottom of the photo, changing the model name, the date, the time, as well as font, Within the photo and pro modes, you can quickly change the resolution by just clicking on the button to get that perfect shot. In video mode, you can change the video size using the button, making it easier to see all available options. When using the grid lines, there is now a level line that shows to ensure that your shot is level. You can see that in the video here. Quality optimization has been updated so you can choose from maximum, medium, or minimum depending on the speed and quality you desire. Auto FPS has been added so you can record brighter videos in low light conditions. You can turn it off, set for 30 frames per second, or use it for both 30 and 60 frames per second videos. Easier document scanning has been added as well. You can open the camera, take a photo, and it will automatically scan the document. Then you can manipulate it to the size you want and then save it.
Several updates and enhancements have been made to the gallery. You can swipe up from a picture or a video and make quick edits by selecting the options that are given on the picture. The two-handed drag and drop feature is also available so you can easily move a photo from gallery and share via text or other sharing options. When clipping an image, you can easily save it as a sticker and share it if you like. There you have it folks, just a few new updates and enhancements that One UI 6.0 brings to your Galaxy Z Fold 5. Stay tuned for more videos on additional features in Samsung One UI 6.0. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like button as it helps the channel get more content out to other tech enthusiasts. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos are released. YouTube suggests you check out these videos for similar content. Thanks for watching.